Hi, I'm Simsina. Today's video was decided on my poll, actually. I had asked which tutorial would you like to see next, whether creating a Maxis match texture or creating a 3D object or well, mesh from the regular image. As you can see, Maxis match had one. If you guys have any ideas, video suggestions, anything really, write it in the comments below. Now, in case you don't know what Maxis Match is, in short, Maxis Match is CC, so custom content, whose textures and colors are very similar to those made by EA. So the ones that we already have in the game. In my opinion, the easiest way to come up with a Maxis Match texture is to simply pull it out um, out of one of EA's existing textures and then just make them seamless, make them like tileable. To be able to make that happen, you will need Sims First Studio and 2D image editing software. I use GIMP and I will use it in this tutorial. So first I need to find EA's texture that I'd like. I will get it using the Sims 4 Studio. So right here I'll select Standalone Recolor and then click Object. For this tutorial I decided to go with wooden texture from Get Together. So I'll sort out by Get Together and then I'll choose this dresser. Now the reason why I'm choosing this particular dresser is because I'm looking for an object that will have um, like a bigger wooden surface. So the top part of this dresser is what I'm noticing. It has this nice wooden texture on top that I'm going to then turn into a really, really nice stylable Maxis Match texture. Right, so click Next. Once here, I'm going to go to Textures and I'm going to need to pull this image out. The way to do it, simply click Export right here. And right now, I'm saving a simple image file that I will then edit. Once saved, open it in your photo editor. Like I said, I use GIMP and this is what it looks like in GIMP. So now I'm going to select Rectangle tool and simply select a part from this map. Once selected, I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it by pressing Ctrl plus V and I'm going to paste it onto another image that I have already opened right here. You can paste it to another image if you want to as well. If you don't want to, you can always just paste it onto the same image. No matter how you do it, what's important is that this part is all that there is to the image. All right. Once I've done that, I'm just going to size it up a bit, cut the size pieces so that my texture is covering the entire space of the image and that the texture is all that exists on my image. So no blank spaces, nothing else. Now once that's done, I'm going to go to Filters then Map, and then Tile Seamless. With that command, GIMP will automatically make this pattern tileable, as you can see. So I'm just going to click OK, and that's pretty much it. Get Together Maxis Match Texture is done. What I'm missing right now, uh, obviously, are the swatches. So this was just one swatch. So I'm going to look at different swatches in The Sims 4 Studio, and then I'm going to recreate them in GIMP. There are, again, several ways that you can do this. You can go to Hue Chroma and then drag the sliders 
until you get the exact swatch. You can also do this through colorize option where you can go straight to color wheel and then select the colors you like or well in this case the colors that will match the swatches from get together. I'm just going through all the swatches in the Sims 4 Studio and then I am recreating them until I got all of them done. Once I'm done I can just save them as regular images or well I actually save mine as GIMP file so that all my swatches are here in this you know one file. Now I'm just going to quickly add one of these get together textures to a base game object. So in the Sims 4 Studio I'll go to standalone recolor and then object. In the catalog I'll select this base game author table And then when here, I'll go to textures and export the table texture. Open it in GIMP. I'll cut out this base game texture. And then I'll si simply copy my get together texture in this little circle hole thingy. Right, so copy it and then paste it. And there you have it. Now I'm just saving the new map and importing it in the Sims 4 Studio. And this table now has get together swatch. Well, that was quick. Like I said before in my previous video, um, I made spa day textures using this technique. If you guys want to use these textures in your creations download link will be in the description. Now these textures they're just PNG images in a zipped file. You're free to use them anyway you want really I mean these are EAs I just made them tileable so you can play around with them use them however you want. If you guys have any other questions any suggestions, anything really, just let me know in the comments below. If you find my content helpful, informative, and if you want to help me continue making videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really doesn't cost you anything and to me means like a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. watch next year this time will all be modders i could you imagine